I am a Palestinian, and I have to hide my fucking face in front of all of you for the sake of my family, for the sake of my people who are dying, dying because of our money, funding companies that are profiting off of our deaths. I have to wonder every time I see a fucking massacre in Gaza whether my fucking institution is making a profit off of it. Blood is on our hands. No, that was not a really cringeworthy drama monologue. That was a Palestinian student at UC Santa Barbara. She apparently thinks she needs to hide her face in front of her fellow students, and that's probably not the only thing she has in common with Antifa. You all silence me daily! You all put me to the side and expect me as a Palestinian to shut the fuck up because you don't want to hear our voices because you don't think we exist, but I will tell you right now I exist! Yes, we know you exist. Can we please stop with this whole leftist notion that just because I disagree with you politically, I'm somehow denying your existence? Those aren't the same things, but the left acts like they are because if you're denying someone's existence, that then means you can be punched, pepper sprayed, and even bike locked by people like former professor Eric Clanton. Anyways, these pro-Palestinian students were disrupting a student senate meeting at Santa Barbara where they were going to vote on whether or not their school should divest from Israel. The Boycott Divest Sanction Movement, of course, aims to prohibit universities from partnering with Israeli schools and requires them to boycott companies that do business with Israel, like HP. Palestinians weaponize BDS by using it to deny funding to pro-Israel people and groups with whom they have political disagreements. So you might be wondering, why were the pro-Palestinian students disrupting a BDS vote you would think they'd support? Well, it turns out that the format of the vote wasn't good enough. The proposal required two-thirds approval to pass, whereas some students wanted it to only require majority approval. So this happened. They were apparently also upset because 12 out of 25 of the student senators walked out of an over 10 hour long meeting the previous week, preventing a vote on the resolution then. But here's the thing. Even if the resolution did pass, which it didn't, it failed for the fifth time in six years, but even if it did pass, UC Santa Barbara isn't obliged to pull its money out of Israeli businesses. Students at the University of Michigan passed a divestment resolution last year, and the administration said, We appreciate hearing from students, but stated, The university's long-standing policy is to shield the endowment from political pressures, and to base our investment decisions solely on financial factors such as risk and return. And UM's Board of Regents said it strongly opposed the BDS movement. So anti-Israel activists, if you're going to waste your time trying to pass a resolution that might get shot down by the school anyway, at least don't take the opportunity to also, at the same time, become part of a video that makes you look so childish and intolerant to future employers. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.